Um, if you go back far enough, um, you have people who still disagree with the inclusion of bright skins. When you get to the old bogeys. I guess, but seriously? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I don't know. All right. It's an emergent thing that's become mainstream. But I mean, uh, okay, I I don't see how that would necessarily. I mean, I, I guess it is a benefit to be able to distinguish your enemies from your friends. Right. But you still gotta shoot them. Yeah. I don't people, know. There there are some people who just miss the days of you know like Thresh on DM3, in Quake. And uh, shout out to Tilter. Haven't yeah. seen him around for a while. Yeah. Well, and we haven't seen him press F3 tonight either. Oh. <laughs> Um, so yeah, Jaharm, dude, uh, we had an interesting, a little bit of a bumpy night last night. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you were so fortunate to, to miss it. Um, but I think tonight's going to be a little bit better. That was better. graduation. <laughs> yeah. Um, it was fun. This, this should be good times. Um, I think we, we certainly uh, discovered, put it through its paces, and learned that there are issues with the servers that were chosen. Mm -hmm. We're going to go live in about uh, six seconds. Let's go ahead and run the rosters. Yeah. We have Pro Theory, uh, Tick, Exit, Mag Magical Poop, my favorite name, Pitbull, Tilter, <laughs> and uh, Talrock. Talrock looks like an addition from last night, or a, a swap out from someone else. If you can please run the resistance for me, Joe that'd be great. Absolutely. Uh, Magical Poop is almost as good as Clown Fart. Um, we've yeah. got Monk, Monk RX, Veritas, uh, Fixion, Antifreeze, oh. and uh, Kasayuri, and... Cataplex? Cataplex, yeah. Are yeah. they are they going? Yes, but I, I just realized uh, that we don't have uh, team names above above players. Ooh, yeah. I, I will I will ask for that. Um, I'll, I'll wait a second for this push to basically die before I yeah. start annoying people. Okay. Yeah, that, that's that's a little bit annoying. Actually. Yeah, it'll, it'll it'll make things a bit difficult to spectate. But yep. you know, we can talk about in generalities. Um, yeah. The very least, uh, what I'm seeing here is that. Uh, we have a heavy in play. We actually saw this last night. Oh, and that being said, though. Wow, we've already got a plan. Tilter already planted on, on the, the blue side. side. Most of Yar is being held down on the red side. We've got Kasuyuri coming around for the slide. And Kasuyuri playing a medic right now is going to be first to the battle and the first to get knocked down. But we have another medic that's going to be helping out. One of the benefits of having uh, 6v6 in this nice case. Nice coverage here. Is in the back. Be everybody, yeah. Yeah, and, and I, I wish I could see who this is that's uh, hiding there in the beret in the, in the corner there, because uh, he actually got a, a couple of huge, big hits, and though great nade spam there, fantastic work. This will be a detonation, so I'm just going to go ahead and type in G underscore spectator. Oh, wait. Yeah, spectator mode. Damn it, I didn't type it fast enough. I'll just do it yeah. this way. Say G underscore spectator mode. Please. What is it, two? I got it. Not just one. Yeah, it's wow. Um, yeah, quick, quick, uh, quick plant. Back to Oasis. Yeah, very quick plant. Which uh, you yeah. know that that's something that awesome. I, I've I've been enjoying. Um, of course, you know none of the changes really impact plant objectives. Right. Uh, you know, just just yet. I'm I'm really curious <clears throat> because it affect everything though. Well, okay. Well, I was talking with. Bad man, because I was I was kind of yeah yeah. <laughs> I was talking with Bad man because um, obviously a little bit uh, disconcerting that they they actually adjusted the hack time to increase it. Same thing with repairs and stuff like that. Um, you know, slight increases on those things, uh, given that they of course decreased or excuse me also increased the the de hack time required or pace I should say, but. My understanding is basically those changes were to balance uh, pubs, 8v8, where it's logical that you're going to have, you know, three covert ops, probably. Yeah. yeah, right. So, you know, um, that, that makes sense. You know, and plus, like, lots of support and cover and blah, blah, blah. Right? So, I think, I think what's uh, kind of up the sleeves is maybe some adjustments to um, maybe the, the duration that you have to do things for certain... Uh, you know, certain objectives like hacking and kind of balance it for that 5v5. Looks like we have security grouping up very tightly on Sescort with the exception being these uh, these other two guys that are basically just covering the choke point. Um, I like to maybe whip around here to see if resistance is pressing. No, they're already getting pushed back. Just um, pretty much a, a straight pushback here. Almost no slowdown on this escort at all. 
Wow, and that really clear through uh, run through of the restaurant is going to be aiding them a ton here in the ramp room. But what we've got resistance metting back up here. They're going to be able to have a bit more of a presence. They need to get topside though. Here comes Pitbull though, getting the gank on while wearing his gimp suit, very classy. And we have the escort moving back up to the second landing. And unless Escorted there's a very strong presence in the main room, yeah. uh, this will be a pretty quick victory. Yeah, I mean, what I'm seeing is that Yar is actually being held uh, pretty much at the, the entrance to, the, like, where the sort of back, um, almost maintenance areas um, lead into. And they have no idea where this objective is. They're actually down below uh, the ramp thinking that, you know, that, that the objective is somewhere over there. But uh, let's see if I can not get caught in the ceiling. Uh, Yar lost a player. Oh, yeah. Well, that's just going to make matters worse. Yeah. We'll make them quicker, at least. Magical Poop is sitting up nicely on the top yeah, they, of the stair. They don't realize that there's one guy finally realizing that the objective's there outside. Yeah, he is outside already. I mean, this is kind of insane. Yeah, so we're going to see, like, a four-minute time here. Or, yeah, five-minute time, rather. You know what? Yeah. It's better than a double full hold. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, you know, five minutes in, and then a five minute on the other side, I'm down with that. Wow, and that's Tits it. is the one escort on this guy, and he's in, he's through, Excellent it's done. Work, you know, yeah, we and, the hostage and I think, uh, I think we can, we can clearly now just say that it's a bit of a, uh, skill difference. That was the fastest competitive aquarium run that I've ever right. seen. Yeah, because, uh, you know, obviously we've seen with, um, teams are a little bit more even. It tends to be drug out quite a bit. I, I, I think the best time that we saw, or a kind of average time that we saw, was somewhere between 12 and 15 minutes for some of our tests. But cheers to TWL for not going overboard with the rules changes. Yeah. Um, Especially I, since a lot of those rules are being patched. And know, I'm even right wondering, now. I think command post buffs might even be on here. Uh, I, I know that was one thing they were kind of tossing around. So let's take a look at the awards we've got. Best overall... Um, Monk from Yar, Soldier, Tilter, Medic, Monk shows up again. So he was, you know, getting his paycheck earned, but unfortunately they could not just stop the, uh, the steamroll. We've got Talrock as an engineer, and actually I missed who got most kills, but uh, we're going to see the sides flip. Hey, silly guys. But hey, kudos to the teams uh, for showing up on time. In fact, a little bit ahead of time. So we were able to get the stream and the matches going. You all stocked up on root beer? Uh, no, I'm just going for the water tonight. I, I like to live dangerously. Well, I don't know what the water in Virginia is like, so you might be... Hey, here we go. <laughs> I might indeed be living dangerously, yes. Mm. All right, folks, we're going live with the second half. Let's see if the time... No, it's 20 minutes. Okay, er, yeah. So so it's good that we actually uh, you know, check that time and yeah. at least have an idea of it. I'm going to hop out and check out the security tower, which, of course, we flipped sides. So now we have, have Yar... As the boys in blue. And they have, uh, not according to the game clock because the server reset, they have five minutes, give or take five seconds, to get Nice nade from path. the staircase. Tilter yep. unloading every ability that the soldier has afforded to him. And wow, quite effective because um, I, I was blind and I saw at least two guys go down beforehand just to the friggin' nade. So, um, yeah, th right, this we've is... Got a we got a three-man push on the red side here. Yeah, the medics are not with the heavy, though. Right, and Magical Poop is just going to be clearing out a good amount of that. Oh, we have a team Molotov on Cataplex. Actually, that was his own damn nade. Yeah. But Magical Poop's got a good position here. He's going to be holding down the fort, throwing off some damage. And we've got Cataplex back up on his feet. Is he going to be able to take down Magical, Magical Poop? He's really holding down an important position right now. They're really wanting to focus on the red side of the map, but they have gotten nowhere. That is going yeah. to be a shut down uh, push, and we've already got turret on the other side of the map. Indeed. And that's actually a pretty common thing I've been seeing out of um, defenses. It was They sort of focus their manpower on one side and use the engineer abilities, kind of, uh, for lack of a better yeah. word, stack the engineer abilities on the other side. Of course, this is also just pretty much the best turret placement. Um, simply yeah. because you have to really get into the room before you can do anything with it. That being said, um, I, I would like to see maybe some variation. Another, another of my favorites is uh, on this red side, as we're seeing Antifreeze try to get in, but I'm going to move into position. Basically, if I was a turret, this is roughly where I'd be. Uh, you do lose out on some of the cone of fire here, but you can catch someone who's not very observant just trying to run up to the, 
run up to the door without checking their, um, I guess it would be roughly their 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock position. So, yeah. uh, security's back to the drawing board. Yeah, that was another failed push there along the same side. It looks like they'll be mixing things up a bit this time, but as you mentioned, um, they're going to be ready for it. They've got mines down, they've got turrets down, and we had Veritas going for the plant, but no real support, so he was a bit of a sitting duck. Fixian, same thing. He's actually running a heavy, oddly enough. It is pretty cool but, seeing the, the uh, uh -oh, movables, Seltzer. like this little mm -hmm. blue uh, jug just like flying around as nades go off. It's always fun. Like, I, I kind of love that the maps are full of stuff. You know, like, I, I think people kind of forget Oh yeah. how significant that is. And yet, how smooth this game plays, even though there's obstacles everywhere. Yeah. A bit of a significant push from the leak side. Got a few points of damage done, but it wasn't coordinated with the rest of his team's push, so he uh, kind of stuck his foot in the hole. Yeah, we, we got a pair of security coming up... Around the U-shaped hallway, the the one that connects uh, to red side, and they're basically being stuffed by. We got uh, who is this? Yeah, magic magical poop, poop is and, not giving yeah. up that position. He's had to switch over yeah. to his sidearm a couple times, but um, the soldier has been doing a pretty good job of keeping him up there. In fact, that one soldier would be Tilter, who's also been doing a good job of holding down the top blue side. Veritas, uh, but Veritas is yep. going oh. up. I have, uh, I've do it. Taken. Do it. Take that route. Do it. Yeah, I was going to say, nobody's been going up there. It's a good place to be. They're able to push to it, and nobody's covering the top. It would be a really, really huge advantage for them at this point. I bet you a mine is covering that, though. Uh, they have... I thought we see mines now. Oh, it, you might be right. Multiple I am not... Five. I don't remember. I think that was in the patch notes, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, either way... Tilt are coming through, clearing out. It's going to get another kill on uh, Kas Kasayuri. That's what is, he did. Which is a pretty cool name, by the way. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So Tilter is actually out of position a little bit right now, so nobody's really covering um, the top of the blue side. In fact, there really aren't a lot of people there to begin with. But as you said, the two engineers are making sure that that side is covered. So even without the manpower, they've got the turret power, they've got the mine power. Um... Why haven't we seen the backside push yet? I don't know. I'm I'm a little bit concerned because we are seeing uh, we actually only have about twenty, maybe twenty five yeah, seconds left to play. Yeah. Is Kasayuri taking the high road? Nope, Tilter's no, still, Tilter's in still there. there. He's yeah, still yeah. Been so consistent on this side of the push that Tilter has been going. All right, I I see what you're doing there. Yeah, and actually Tilter, look at this. He's getting a pair. Might yeah. Good lord, Tilter. Nice job. Most kills. Oh, no problem. Most curb stomps, too. And I would kind of call that time. Yeah, yeah they're, they're saying GG. GG. And we had a few soldiers rush down to the blue side and start the animation for the plant, but um, it was a little premature, to, be, to say the least. Yeah, yeah. I definitely have to have that clear before you rush in for the objective. But that is going to be setting up PT. Uh, as the victor here, and they, are they actually playing uh, resort? Oh yes, they are, and they're in game. So right now we've got. Oh, I don't want to sure, be. On. Yeah, make sure you change team. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. We've got Thunder Chickens. Um, Need apparently to this that is. Shit. This can't be live because it's five v four. That makes no sense. Um, I'm going I hope we're to... not taking up slots. Shit. I. I don't think we are. Well, I mean, they're five minutes this? into the match, they're six minutes into the match, and they're on the last objective, so... <laughs> I'm a confuse. Because, yeah, that, uh... That I, I, I don't want to be, you know, stopping, uh... Right. Someone from... Okay, they, they say there's enough room. They can't handle... Even match. Uh-oh. I guess they just wanted to play. All right, all right. So we, I guess we, we entered got... on the drama. The dramas have found us. I guess. I don't know. Something like that. So Being Thunder said? Chickens is on the offense, on the resistance, and this hack is nearing 50%. Takes, takes a little longer now since the patch. We've got two coming in, uh, and the operative is going to indeed be taken down by Necron. And we've got all of them moving in. Can they set up an adequate defense, though? Because that just means that... Um, 
that the Thunder Chickens will have all the time in the world to set up in the tree courtyard. Yeah. I mean, since their defense has to be so close to the chest right now, they are going to be swarmed from every side. Yeah, I actually, they, you know, I, I'm starting to love this objective. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of people kind of consider it uh, sometimes impossible. But, um, you know, if, if, you're, if you're on the offense. But I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to learn ways to crack it. Yeah. So, feeling better. I mean, you could just see the pressure that they're experiencing right now nice. because um, XG has three engineers and this thing is not being torched at all. And we do have a mine down right on the objective. So that in case of fire song is going to be, uh, you know, handy. Uh, Wait, he's on a mine, it? so mines are not visible, just so you know. In case of... really? In yeah. case of fire, stay calm, awaken sleeping tapers, Finish cake leftovers, destroy any donut evidence, leave the premises. Thank you. That is definitely a splash damage message. I love splash damage. <laughs> Alright, so we finally got a torch on the hack box, but he's going to be taking bullets the whole way. They've got medics in there, though. Uh, apparently, from the tone of it, this is live. Like, they're actually playing with this. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I need to see if can, I can, can still I, be can hit. I this oh, out there? Uh, I can still be hit by sticky bombs. Really bad, man. I told you. I told you. Right, I'm going up into the air. How? Oh, really? You got hit by a sticky yeah. bomb? I got hit by a sticky bomb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are at about 70% uh, done. Yep. And we got two operatives on the objective. So, yeah. uh, props there. Uh, loadout, even though it's not going to matter in a few seconds, we got two ops. We got Maddie and Andrew. Uh, two okay. meds, lethal injection, and Chris P as the straw man. And then, of course, came. Well, he came, he saw I kicked ass, and he laid it down mines. That being said, that we do have a D hat going on. This is um. Oh, look at look at the progress plummet. Can't defuse. Can't defuse. Oh. Oh. That's the rule. rule. Okay. Read the rules. <laughs> I don't think it'll be necessary to have it as a rule anymore, to be honest. Because I think it's much more fair now. Um, it's. I I'm. You can just hear all the Puritans. That, yeah. Uh, the, you know, rising up and saying, it's dumb, you can de hack. But then, you know, why, you know, might as well just make every hack objective a built objective, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> well, oh, I guess, the, I guess the one exception is that as an operative, you can, like, leave the objective. You know, it's mm -hmm. a, you can build from a distance, but I'm not sure how I feel not, about not that. Far, actually. There, there, depending on the map, there are a few places where you can still get an adequate hack time. Yeah. Well, you, you know what I would love to see is, <clears throat> I think what what they've done now for um, like AV8 is perfect, right? It, it feels good. People are happy with it, right? But for a five v five, I like to see dehacking take at least one and a half times as long as gaining progress, so that yeah. you could still dehack. Okay, actually, it looks like some mines are visible. Huh? I can see yeah. this one. Uh huh. I just couldn't see another one that the guy was on. Anyway, um, oh wow, nice here. Right. A little, little flanking action. Well, we have thunder chickens thundering on in here. It's going to be difficult to get to right now. There's cow drops on the ground. There's mines, um, but they are so so very close. Um, and we've got a hack here. Don't He's going to be hitting the mine. the mine though, and he walked off it a little too quickly. He's got to revive though. He is up. The medic is being chased down. The medic is going to be down. How long can he survive as nice. the one operative in here? Self defense. And he's going to switch to his hack tool. Here we go. There we go. All right, so Maddie. Is it? Also known as Maddie. I'm going to scan through. Yep. And here comes the Securita. <laughs> Securita. Yes. Oh, wow, nice. I think that was uh, maybe lethal injection. Getting that kill right before Straw Man got one himself. But Maddie's back up. He's gotten a revive, and the room is clear. There's going to be a nade, but he's got assistance to keep the bullets off of his face. Oh, we've got one coming from behind. But this hack is so. Yeah, it's so got to be so close and done. But really, there um, we go. Yeah. Thunder Chicken's we lost a good four computer. minutes between now we almost finishing it and actually finishing outside. it. Good job, brothers. Okay. I just got word. This is not a TWL server. Right. Okay, he's having to say that is our server, and I just took that as that's a TWL server. So, anyway. Eh, it's all good. 
Let's check out the awards because that's important. We've got Crispy as the straw man, best overall, best soldier, Maddie as Maddie, and we've got uh, Crispy again, the straw man, rolling the medic. Came, came, saw kicked ass as the engineer. We've got operative of Andrew T as Turbo, and of course Maddie W as Maddie getting most kills. So MVP right there, Maddie, rolling the soldier Excellent. class and making it happen. I like it. And he was the one to finish the objectives, so bonus points. Very nice. So, yeah, very, uh, you know, pretty, pretty solid play. Um, did you happen to see the time, sir? There was about eight minutes left on the clock. Okay, so roughly 12. Time to beat. Yeah. Sad you can't take an even match. And uh, apparently mentioning female oh. body parts is important. As Anything a, more important body part? Well, yeah, not not necessarily as as it's intended. I can think of <laughs> I, I can't uh -huh. think of a more important body part just on its own. <laughs> yeah, it seems like the command of the community is just really settled on five v five. Sadly, yeah. but um, I I am of the mind. Set, and I've said this before, I'm going to say it again. Wait, wait till the DLC, guys. Like, yeah. I, you know, I, I want to see some community events because now pubbing is pretty awesome. But mm -hmm. as far as competitive play goes, I would really like to see. Let's just kind of chill, wait for the DLC. Yep. Um, you know, because if, if the DLC comes with A, new abilities, that'll be neat to figure out. B, we can really re-examine some of the restrictive rules we have. I love one mine per NG and one turret per team, actually. Yeah. Like that, yeah. From the ESL rules, I love that. Mm -hmm. um, Makes sense to me. And I, you know, I, I made this thread about maybe Adrenaline uh, should probably be unbanned. I don't... It's, it sounds weird. I don't really stand by that. Like, it... I don't really care whether or not it, it does get unbanned. Okay. You know what we should have done? We should have asked for G Spectator Mode 1. Ah, uh, yeah. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. So yeah, actually, it's a little bit less than that. 11.30 roughly is the time to beat. Um, wow. But anyway, uh, I'm just going to basically do shoulder cam for a good portion of this. Yeah. Uh, no, but I, my thing is I want it to be tested. Mm -hmm. Right? Because the ESL rules, while they fix a lot, they still don't completely uh, fix issues of double full holds. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, Strongman not checking his six, and he'll get... Jeez, uh, that was aggressive of him. Yeah. A bit very... of a far push, but he's going to be using self-revive. He's allowed to do that, I guess. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, 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 self-revive is in. Good, good. Uh, what I I'm, don't I'm... see is a hack on this lower door. Yeah. Um, maybe... They're all pushing really strong through Krillco right now, but after this wave, um, once TC, Thunder Chicken, sets up in Fashionista, that is not going to be happening anymore. So that's when we're going to need to see the hack. So mm -hmm. usually I like to go for the hack first because initially yes. there's not a lot of attention put on it and you can get it done quicker. Although after the, the first wave, you're just, in trouble. Just so you know, if you ever play against me, that's where I go as a defender. I'm going to yeah. be shooting you in the yeah. face. So. I didn't notice. I noticed <laughs> that a lot. Yeah. But yeah, everything is really centered around Fashionista at the moment. But it looks mm -hmm. like um, so Ooh. far things have been held off pretty well. Of course, I'm going to just point it out. This tree of life here is uh, really where the um, resistance oh, watch the resistance watch, trying to get to. Apparently, yeah. Yeah. So, basically, trying to plant on this pillar to get this chopper to fall down to the ground, and of course, that of course requires a soldier with an HE charge. I'm going to go take a look. Anything? Any touch on the door? No. That, that actually kind of bothers me. Why did Turbo put? Nah. Why did Turbo put it? His turret right there. Rot, rot wire man. It's a bad place. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay where? Where? What? <laughs> it's at the door of uh, of Hennessy. Okay. It's like right at the door. But if anybody pushes from Hennessy, that's gonna be one dead turret or one hacked turret. Yeah. Wait. Anyway. Oh. Right there. Yeah. Wait. What? What? You see the turret? Yeah. I, I, that's why I said what. Like that. You know what? Yeah, yeah oh, okay. I, 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 I do, I do see what you're saying though. Like, but strangely mm -hmm. enough, that actually probably will kill somebody. <laughs> yeah, I'll be watching the obituary list. All right. So uh, again, I mean, now that we've seen the first, uh, the first wave kind of die down, we're seeing the, uh, 
the Thunder Chicken set up in Fashionista. I mean, it's kind of, yeah. kind of textbook right now. If you don't make the hack happen early, it's going to be really hard to make it happen <clears throat> at all. Yeah, actually, let's call out who's doing what. We got a paramedics for the security. Chris and Lethal Injection came, and Andrew are sporting the engineer style. And Maddie McMaddie McMaddie is rocking the soldier. Uh, with resistance, though, things are a little bit different. Only one medic, two engineers, and a soldier. This is a situation where Weird. on the resistance side, um, you, you kind of need a long rifle. Like uh, long no, I, you need a soldier that can do what the fuck they're doing. What resistance needs to do, honestly, is roll two meds, two soldiers, and an engineer. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, yep. they're they're missing people, Eight. but yeah, flash this. yeah. But yeah, so honestly, I would run uh, two meds and two soldiers, or maybe two soldiers, one med, one engineer for the for the buffs. Mm -hmm. Um. With the idea being that, yeah, you you want a double flashbang, right? You want uh, double Molotov, and you can easily take over Fashionista. You take the command post, switch up your classes. Uh, if wow. you you know if you feel you don't. Draw man just MVP'd, uh, hit by a Molotov, took down the guy who tossed it at him after getting back up. <laughs> nice. In full frontal view of him, nice. But here comes the Russian. They were looking the other way for a second, so they've actually got inside. They're not going to get any further than that. We've got to revive. Yeah. But he's going to put down very quickly. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice, though. Juggernaut picking up one against Lethal Injection before he finally takes a Lethal Injection to the face, uh, bullet-wise. So, yeah. Um, interesting enough, the Resistance actually still controls this command post, so they could switch classes if they clear the room without even having to wait. I think right now we're just... <laughs> yeah, Unreal... Real good time to bring that up. <laughs> you know, halfway through the second match. But yeah, take note, everybody. This is exactly why you don't want to let uh, security hole up in Fashionista. It becomes really difficult to break. Yeah, why, why are we not seeing at least an attempt on uh, the... We're not even seeing a... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean... Well, okay, okay, first of all, for all of XG's complaints, my response is... Where the fuck are your six? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know. That goes to TC2 since they only have five. <laughs> yeah, but at least they got, you know, five out of six. It's a little bit better. Welcome to the internet. Yeah. Oh, nice little self revive opportunity here. Nice. Okay, here we go. We've himself. got to push into Fashionista. They've got a ton of men, but there's going to be a revive up there. Is he going to be put down first? Yes, he is. Yeah, th this is the push one. we've been looking for here. Yep. Six minutes, yep. three seconds. All right, but now where the hell are they headed? What are they doing? One thunder chicken is in there, but he's uh, that should be Necron since he self revived. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if I can get okay, his he's angle. Down. All but right. This should be XG moving into Fashionista. Mm -mm. What are they gonna do from here? No, no, no. They they've been pretty much it's a stalemate at this point. Uh, they, because they everyone be here. Point, really. I mean, it's it's two guys up, one guy up now, and oh, there we go, finally. Is that a, is that a knife kill? Knife. That is a knife kill. Okay, and so they take Fashionista and then they push through Fashionista door. I, I, I guess that's good. Not Planting. subtle, but good. Yeah, uh, plant is down. There's the turret. There it is. There it is. Oh my god. There it is. There it is. <laughs> that is an awesome turret. No, no, it's not. That's the horrible thing about it. <laughs> okay. So can I just call this out? Because uh, I, yeah. I don't mind when players are, you know, frustrated and you know they're like it's, it's okay to be frustrated in this game. But look for a turret. Yeah. You haven't seen one your entire time, entire way in there. It's in there somewhere. You're about to plant. You have the objective clear. And since the uh, the lower door has not been opened. Right. Uh, yeah, there's, there's no reason to move that turret somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. Although, to be fair, slightly better place is just to put it in the bushes. <laughs> People don't see it. It's like, it'll be sticking out of the leaves, the but... The bush is the best. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Like, right, right, right here. Like, you can't plant it anywhere in here, but there is a spot in this bush that you can put a turret down. Yep. It, it just sits here like this. Like, hi, just don't, don't pay any attention to the rustling leaves. Trees. They're in the bushes, yeah. Can I, can I say this? The turret's still up. Now, what I'm a little bit bothered 
with is you know, an A, the lack of the hack, right? Mm -hmm. Because just to call this out, do we actually have an operative maybe? No. But they're, they're going low. Don't go up there. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Here's what you do. You, you drop down. Team. You drop down. You hug the right wall. Absolutely hug it, right? Yep. And you can crawl between here. And then maybe, maybe you climb up here. Maybe. But, um, you know, maybe not. It you know, really kind of depends. If there's a guy defending here, you headshot him from below. Kind of like that. You wait, though. You don't just run up there where you have a disadvantage. You stay down here and you wait and you kill him. You toss a nade. You cook it. You shoot it. Whatever. Yeah. Anything. And to kind of uh, harken back to frustration, great. They took Fashionista. They they had a good, decent push that didn't get totally shut down like this one right, just did. Did they wait for the respawn wave? No. No. And they just pushed directly through the Fashionista door, right, right where you know everyone knows you're going to be. Right, you know, exactly. Like, like seriously, that that's the time where you're like, hey, we're in fashion. You said, guess what we're gonna do, you know? And and I, I don't know if if you've done this, Jahar, but you can walk across this uh, these slopes. Oh yeah, yep. right here, right. So so you can actually come out of Fashionista, heading towards this good, the, 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 the green, the green good place, mm -hmm. and and just just hop here. Hop, hop, and you're in Hennessy. And look at that. And now yep. you're now you're at the turret, facing and the opposite you're direction. Behind the turret. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Um, perfect time for if you had an operative to take over that turret. Hee hee hee. And, yep. uh, yeah. Oh, so wow, XG is now rage. going to rage. Oh, rage, as, rage, rage. As they quite frankly should have done a couple minutes ago. Yeah. Um, <laughs> GG. Yeah. But, you know, <clears throat> I, I understand the frustration, but there are a few things that, that could be done <clears throat> to, uh, to lessen the, the feeling of getting outplayed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't think we saw a single variation on the push. Can, yeah. I, just, can I just call out the hero here? Necron, no sound, yep. staying yep. in like a champ. So, mad, <laughs> mad props to this guy for having a heart, man. That, this is the that's map awesome. where you actually want to take some time to be <clears throat> subtle with your first push. Like yes. a map like Aquarium, you just go, 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 go. Um, Container City, you double go, 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 go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, here, you really want to be able to take the time to take that market door early. Otherwise, you get shit canned. <laughs> this map has a shop. I love a shop. Little shop. <sighs> I miss this week's Doctor Who. Crappy internet. <laughs> Alrighty. But yeah, props to, to Necron. Yeah. No, not that I ever liked playing and as actually, Can I just call this out? He also has the highest XP. So he actually yep. is kind of the MVP right now. <laughs> uh -huh. That's right, Hero Holmo, go soldier. Aw. <laughs> yeah, a little, little bit short on the toss. But, you know, seriously, like, um, yeah, again, I understand the frustration. But mm -hmm. if, they, if they had a problem with the server, A, they need to have one of their own and say, we play one map on yours, one map on ours. Right? Yep. yep. Um, otherwise, you cannot complain. Yep. Um, the TWL servers are, are fucked up, so you have to basically go on faith that whatever servers you're using are the ones you're going to be using. And if you don't have a server, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, this is know. basic etiquette to make sure that everyone's on the same page so that nobody has any right to complain about anything. Yeah. Because there is adequate time to discuss it beforehand. Yeah. Anyway. Exactly. Exactly. Like, the, you know, could have, could have talked about this stuff before you hopped in. So. Mm-hmm. I need to apologize, man. Now computers are cured. Yeah, never need to apologize if you're well doing the stand-up thing and being a good sportsman. Yeah. All right. So now we need, uh, I guess we need info for next. Yeah. Thunder chickens have held the coop. Okay. Everyone else has flown the coop. And we're going over to the next match. We have, we have, uh, we can go check out the PT game, I guess. Uh. Since, since the other one yeah, was a little bit info, let's do it. curtailed, yeah. Well, I kind of want to take a look at uh, you know some of the other teams, but let's not. Let's just let's just focus on what we got. On, yeah. All right. And I'll if anybody's in. watching from Tasty Display TV, yes, this is the first opportunity I've had to be on air since I've moved. But good things are happening, and there's going to be a lot of content very soon. Sweet. And all that stuff I said about oh, it's resort again. We're going to see resort all night, actually. I forgot yeah. that the uh, the other match we watched was a was a previous round. Whoa, a little oh, okay. bit of. 
load lag there. All right, I'm in. And this okay. Is an official server. And yeah, yeah, we've got uh, we've got name tags and everything, so it's all good. This is PCL facing off against PT, so protocol versus pro theory. And I guess we'll have to see which of the P's comes out with the W in the column. We have uh, it looks like PCL protocol on uh, security, so they are on defense. Yeah, thank thank the thank the maker for the head names makes our jobs a lot yeah. easier. Um, I'm actually going to hop out a little bit, do a little free fly, and see what we can see. 11:10 on the clock, and I'm going to hop in towards the objective. See how this room is shaping and look up. Look at this marked doorway has been hacked. Yes, that that almost sounds crazy. What yeah. is, what is this hackage? I mean, the beautiful thing about it is that even if you never push from Econom. Oh, it 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 makes them worry. Like honestly, yeah. If, if I'm an engineer, I put a mine there. Yep. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm wasting resources there, because, oh, yeah. um, because you know I, I don't want to have to check my six all the time. Yep. That being said, we do have resistance. Uh, PT pushing forward through Fashionista, get sort of an iconic angle there. Yeah, very nice. And nades are plenty. I, I like how free that we're seeing nades being used a lot more uh, liberally. I would say. Um, yep. I'd still like to see some more grenade shooting though. To be honest. Yeah. And, I never really expected myself. And, and nice well, left nade. Dude, seriously, like honestly, like, I feel like it's sort of the the thing to do for uh, adrenaline. If adrenaline never does make it way, make its way back in, which yeah. again, I'm totally okay if it never does. I just I, I want it to be tested. I want people yeah. to go, oh, this is actually a neat little game mechanic, you know. Mm -hmm. So, ooh, we got ooh, look at this exit. Or um, we've got a big hold up um, at Fashionista. Yeah, did, did you see how, see how far forward? Uh, yeah, yeah, it looks like it didn't quite work out. Catherine was able to pull him down, but... Um, and the thing that really justified the moving that far forward is that nobody was breaking off to go um, from Krilko. I mean, that is the kind of thing you do to kind of punish that, but nobody yeah. did it. Well, on the other night, it really throws off people quite a bit. Uh, I went all the way into that red room. Mm -hmm. Wh whatever this is, the v Valute? So whatever this is, I went all the way in here and up the stairs. I mean, there there are no turrets in here. You can just come in, come come up in there as uh, resistance yeah. and just mow down security. So you don't have to wait for them to get right on the objective. That being said, we do have Krilko uh, pressing, but where's the soldier? We got engineer alive uh, on the resistance, getting pulled down by Chasm. You could hear his final shot. Chasm getting the shot on Talru. So uh, still no plant. Eight minutes, fifty-five seconds. All right, we have PT pushing forward Hennessy once again. We have three, four players there. And we've got PCL Pharaohs taking the flank side from Krill just to kind of nip that push in the bud. I mean, this is one of the things I love about this area is depending on who's holding this corner, it can make or break the push for either team. Yeah, the, the uh, at the same time, we also have a push through Fashionista, but uh, it was quelled pretty convincingly. Yeah. So... Pharaohs made it happen, and that Molotov made a lot of things happen as well. So they're going to be taking a bit more of a frontal approach at this point. But if PT yeah. keeps wanting to push their head against this wall, then more power to them. But they're actually going to be pushing oh, here we uh, go. two top side. Uh, yeah, and one escalator, yep. Yep. And now, although NL's completely ready for it, he's in the, the typical spot to cover that. Yeah, that escalator is covered. That being said, you do have to watch your back from Hennessy. I've, I've gotten killed a few times where, you know, I know someone's about to come up with the escalator, but... Uh, um, just, just as a heads up, if you're pressing this and like you're checking your radar and you're like, oh, there's a dude up there just waiting for me, right? You come out here, uh, do hippity hop, right? And uh, you can actually come up behind them, blow, the, blow their head away pretty easily. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it works out quite well. It hurts a yeah. lot too, just saying. I know you mentioned the radar. The radar in this game is actually a little bit weird for a lot of players because it's not the total map awareness tool that right. it is in most other games. It's more of a situational thing. Like if you're camped in an area or you're on an objective, you want to know which direction they're coming from. That's what it's for. Indeed. Indeed. And looks like we've got Madness trying to get in here, but he's about to be... Uh... Well, there he goes. We lost Guinness. Actually, yeah. actually it's uh, Talrock. Oh, okay, yeah. Hmm. Talrock is in. But again, it, these soldiers just cannot make it in. We've got NL about to uh, get a little bit of, hopefully... Nope, actually, he's been spotted by Chasm. I've, I thought Talrock might be able to get the drop. 
But that being said, oh, here comes the respawn yeah. wave, including a soldier. Uh, magical poop. Can he get in on the objective now? And oh, exit, exit is on the plant. Tilter open up the door for him, and exit is now walking through it. The plant is down. We have 40 seconds to keep this thing going. Now, this is just going to be turning. Uh, Very neighbor. nice play by Magical. Backing off, taking cover, uh, so that he can. Oh, yeah, stay. yeah he's going to toss out. I don't know what he tossed out, to be honest. Guinness is back in for PCL. Uh-oh, Magical Boop got a little bit too excited there, and we're going to see a disarm. Oh, no, we're not. Nice Molotov. That's what Molotov Engineer's down. <clears throat> and there are some revives, so PT will take this, I believe. Just a few more seconds. Three, two, and one. So, 556 at that detonation. So at least we will have some progress to determine things. Get to the chopper, just don't get under the chopper. Because the chopper is down. Yeah. All right, so, guys. Next objective up. Again, a soldier needs to get in and destroy the bridge. This is in TWL rules. So how does this count? Oh, really? Are, is this? What? Is this? Talk about these things before you're in the game. Is this a second half that we don't know about? I, I don't know. I mean, it's progress. Yeah, it is. I don't know. Okay. Well, we got PCL. Oh, back okay. Up. They're talking about downfire and self revive and stuff like that. Were those ever disallowed in TWO? I don't think so. I I thought they were allowed. I I thought they were they were pretty loose on any sort of restrictions. It, yeah. uh, I think just mine and turret. Uh, were kind of the key things. Huh. Oh, flashbangs. You hurt me. Alright, so we are at the, f the second plan objective. Looking for uh, the opportunity to play on this bridge, blow it up and clear the path for the bot. Still not quite sure why Splash Damage thought that we needed another objective in this map. But... <laughs> <laughs> But I, I do like how things really change up where you've got you know, the, the first plant objective. Ooh, actually, as the plant happens right now, Tyrock trying to get it down and he will not be able to survive it. Yeah, the action here is really spread out over a very large area. Yeah, and you, you've got the it's two kind of tiers. It's interesting that the, uh, that the bot is actually at the bridge. This kind of goes for Container City as well. Yeah, cover. When it's moving, then you can use it as cover, but when it's stopped at the objective, then it's cover for the defending team. Mm hmm. More than anything else. Yeah, I've actually gotten quite a few kills by basically hiding behind it and waiting for a respawn yeah. wave to come up. And of course, I usually get swarmed by several guys, but, you know, I, I do it mostly as my soldier where I'm essentially unloading my abilities. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, with the flashbang, what I found is you can make a pretty good escape. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, I haven't quite got to the hang of flashbangs in terms of, like, uh, the offense because. Uh, you know, my understanding, obviously, is when the flashbang detonates and you've actually blinded someone that you get the XP for it. It says flashbang plus, what, 30 XP or something. Um, but what I haven't quite got the knack of is who the fuck is blinded. You know, so yeah. I, I noticed that sometimes I'll, you know, I'll, I'll be able to kill someone pretty easily because they're blind as hell. Um, but then other times, it just seems like I haven't even, you know, that was obviously not the blinded guy, so... Oh, ooh, that being said, we got a plant. Ooh, stuck, stuck one in on me there. Yeah. And we've got the bulk of PCL being kind of shoved back against their spawn wall. Yeah, it's like actually a really nice push here. Um, a lot of flashes. That being said... But uh, PT's push PT. forward. Talrock is yeah. doing a ton of damage from behind the tree, and that's actually a really good angle if somebody's been flashed. I mean, they're dropping down. You get them flashed as soon as they've hit the ground. Yeah, and great, then great aggression. Combo. I mean, look, look at how far forward uh, PT has pushed in order to just completely stop that's PCL. Uh oh, yeah, we're getting disarmed. Because they got a disarm. Oh, yeah, they. Wow, very nice. Touch. Wow. So a little bit too far forward, I would say. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that actually happened uh, a couple of. A couple of nights ago, I was playing, and um, 
you can get some very last second disarms because the team does get so focused. They're like, oh man, it's pushing back, pushing back, and then uh, basically you you come through and you uh, you just drop in kind of behind this bridge, and you know the resistance just doesn't expect it. So they're like, oh oh, we got this set. You know, let's keep pushing them so that you know it's easy mode and we get back to the bot. Sadly, though, what, I think what would have been more important would be to have one of the engineers fall back uh, and start repairing. Repairing, get a mine down on the objective itself. But we got a PT push yeah. up top. We got NL doing damage from the rear ramp. Madness and Suff are going to be pushing them back as well. But that should allow people like Tilter to kind of take them down from the other side. And Tilter has indeed gotten a couple frags here. But is he going to be able to move very much forward? Yeah, with three of them down on the ground, not really. Yeah, this is uh, pretty much a done deal. We got about a minute and five seconds left. As far as progress is concerned, we can say detonation and bot was at bridge. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, obviously, objective one done and bot was at bridge. Now, of course, maybe that was the question, which was, you know, how do we count this in terms of who won? If this is indeed a second half, we actually don't know. Um, I suppose it could be, but the game will determine based on progress. Uh, since, yeah. you know, since we are at the very least this far. Unless, of course, we're playing a second half and the other team got this far. So 25 seconds and uh, that three-man spawn. Uh, this is going to be PT's real last push here. Nice and they're kind of going Lazarus. the same direction. Got a grenade. That'll be keeping these guys gibbed. And so if we can get PT, oh no, but NL and Chasm are down at the command post side. And they're going to be providing support. So everybody go on top side. It, PCL's it, it, pretty, pretty knocked out, out here. Yeah. Except for Janus and Tilter right on, right on the bridge. All right, guys. So well done, looks like Resistance is considered the winner in that one. Or no, excuse me, Security, rather, is considered the, the winner in that one. Had a big resistance guy on my screen in the cutscene when I was saying that. So, um, yeah. So we got tick with best overall, best soldier, magical poop, mess, best medic, tick again, engineer, NL operative, Talrock, most kills. Pretty much as always, Pharaohs. The guy is seriously crazy with his headshots. So, uh, question is, you know, like, why why is this page not show the time to beat? Like, I don't... would be nice, yeah. You know? There's room for it. <laughs> there's there's room for tons of shit. Yeah. Honestly, cool. the, uh, on the PC, there's room for both, like, side-by-side -side scoreboard... Yeah. ...and awards, like... I don't know. Oh, we're going live. Hey, there we go. Okay, so apparently it's... No, not... Well, this is not TWO rules, but it's fine. Alright, whatever. We're, we're live. That's whatever. the important thing. Let's watch Resistance. Yep. Le raison, resist, blah, 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 resistance. There we go. A little extra syllable in there. I needed to enunciate. Yeah. Hacking the shop door immediately. Hacking the shop door. Door. There we go. NL, making it happen. Yep. In fact, Hope I'm going to take a look at that as soon as this. Oh, there we go. Actually, All I don't right. know if you can see this right now. He's holding out the one hand, but his PDA is actually in his other hand. <laughs> oh wait, I gotta go see this now. All right. I gotta leave the, the firefight. Thing. That is actually fucking hilarious. What? <laughs> what did he do? I like the bugs in this game. They're amusing. Anyway, <laughs> how did he do that? Like seriously, I want to figure that out because I want to do that too. He needs to go back and take his A plus cert, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was definitely a good. But this nerd is good. Joke. I mean, wall. All the rest of the focus is on uh, exactly. Fashion Fashion Lisa, right? Yeah, it's hack, open hack's now. done. Okay, yeah. This is our end. Are they going to spend any time on the command post? Yes, but NL will be, you know, mm. ready to change class potentially because Guinness is an engineer. Yeah, and we are seeing, again, continually, um, and I like how no one's really getting too over eager here. So we're still seeing numbers yep. uh, in Fashionista as well, and I'm going to go actually fly around here. And here comes PCL up escalator. Escalator, yeah. And already we're seeing uh, Talrock go down. So PT, it looks like they're going to be able to hold, but... Pitch and Tilter for a bit of time. Hopefully that'll be giving the rest of the team time to move up Fashionista. But no, it looks like PT is still holding down that pretty well. They are, they are. Uh, Tilter and 
who else is pressing? Here we got, yeah. Uh, Axe Tilter's doing long range stuff, tossing uh, Molotov. Didn't quite get the kill. Looks and like. Uh, to down Pitbull, and then he's got Tilter on his side. Tilter doesn't see him coming, and down he goes. And that is going to be a vital push here for PCL because now they can just move Multiple through as spotted. nicely as they like. But we've still got PT set up on the rear end of Fashionista. That's not going to matter too much, though, because now that they're in the com command post room, they can push any direction they want. Ooh, they can ooh, go you see that? You see that? They're back away from Fashionista. Two just broke off. Too good now in Hennessy. This is a really nice maneuver here by PCL. Again, look at how they changed up the route, and, and this will probably be worth something. Yep. If nothing else, it's going to cause PT to collapse on the objective, they're and down. and it'll down. it'll give headway. Yeah, they're planning, dude. I mean, it's it is a perfect. five and spawn perfect. PT. Perfect. And they've got a plan. Thank Wait, you what? very much. Thank you very much for showing people how to play this game. That is how it's done. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Time PT is able to come back into the chopper room. Um, and PCF, offensive turret, by the way. Get back, get undercover. Wow, this, this is beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna go see what the timing is on this bad boy. 15 seconds. PT Tilter trying to get up there. He is a soldier. He needs to clear out stuff. Not gonna happen. We still have continuing uh, door coverage. Stuff is in a great spot here. He's got the cover of this glass, and he can fire in on any uh, engineer that tries to disarm this charge. Should be going in a few seconds. Yep, there it is. Yep. Yeah, so, again, really great play, fantastic stuff. Um, the good thing about that is that PCL didn't try to hold the room by being in the room. Yes. All the way. They were able to head back to the doors and that, just... They, they found cover, yeah. Yeah, like, really, the only guy that didn't really find cover, he laid down a turret and then used his turret as cover. And that's perfectly viable, because, you know... Turret's yeah. gonna take it. All right, so we have Madness up on the plant, but look at this, Talrock is going to be coming in from the rear to take him down. We have initial frags, most of them on PCL side of things. Yeah. And yeah, you're right. They have to get past the bridge here in order to get any kind of progress. Indeed. So Guinness is down, so the bot's going to be held there for just a few seconds. I'm going to move up towards the other end of the battle, and it looks like we got Taru taking a pretty good position here. I actually, I think he's a little too far up, yeah. Um, this glass right here, uh, protects your head. <laughs> uh, he's right next to it, you know. It's the kind of thing that you want to be uh, kind of popping out of. And actually, my preference is to pop out on the left side in between this light pole and the glass because it's just a little bit more cover uh, for you. And you also get a little bit more of a heads up when you get bum rushed up this ramp. So. Pitbull had a double team nade. That's not going to be very helpful for them. Oh, I missed that one. Yeah. Being said though, uh, he's able to take down stuff. So this is really important. Where PCL is leaving the bot right now, they could still use it as cover. If they move it too far forward, then it's going to be kind of counter, you know, contradicting them. Pharos is going for a self revive. That nade is going to take him right back down though. Yeah, we, I, I I just want to call this out. PT playing this really well. They are up on the uh, the upper areas, and they've got you know numbers up here. I think they might want to maybe spread out a little bit more. They're a little bit jumbled. Uh, and if you get a guy coming through here, this is what I would be doing. I'd be coming through right here and just taking them out from, from this area. Although it looks like they do have some coverage on it. So, okay, maybe, maybe they've, they've got, they're aware that that might happen. Ooh, exit Once again, ladies and gentlemen, just so you know, if PT um, can, actually, if PCL can take down this bridge, then they've, they've won. Well, they've I, I would say the bot needs to pass the bridge because the bot was at the bridge before. Yeah, okay. You I know? don't see that being much of an issue, though. But yeah, yeah. All right, we've yeah, got that a plan. We've got a plan, yeah. And Sup is still on position. He's taken fire, though. Exit is coming on to flush him out, but they need to get the NG for the defuse now. Exit is concentrating on getting the frags before anything else, but Sup, as a medic, can now move up with the bot as kind of mobile cover yeah, here. Yeah, this is really well done. Keep... Exactly, and they really play the positioning of the bot well. Bot's there. It's not going to be moving forward any further until the bomb Potential goes off. Potential disarm? 15 seconds left. No. We've got Talrock. He's on the bridge. He's going to be having to cross over. Yeah, but though. he needs to survive long enough to get there. Here we go. Three, Three two, two, No, one, he can't do it. He can't do it. Yeah. It is destroyed. It, not enough time. So very close. Yeah, it, 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 takes, it takes four seconds to disarm uh, a charge with the gearhead ability or no, nerves of steel excuse me so that is a gg yeah and uh i i'm totally okay with playing it out might as well
Just yeah, more practice. I like seeing the rest of this map. So now, guys, the arena of battle moves to the uh, to the great tree ballroom here, and the objective is to get an operative inside this claustrophobic little yeah, room. Yeah, this is this is sort of the, uh, the the Navi tree, right? Yeah, <laughs> right. This this thing, I don't know. Like what? The kind of a glowing tree in the middle of a courtyard. I don't really know what. Isn't that what what they're called in Avatar? Oh shit. Is that is that right? That I don't know. That was the last reference I expected you to make. Really? I, I love that movie. Like seriously, okay. James Cameron needs to make more awesome movies like that. That totally, like, you know about all the behind the scenes stuff, right? Like the headgear that he made for the movie, the virtual camera he made. The, you know what I'm talking about? You, you, tr trust me, you just need to go check out the, the Blu-ray extras for that movie. There's so much amazing okay. shit just from a filmmaker's perspective that's amazing. Anyway, let's get back to the game. Anyway. The, the bot is being escorted uh, pretty, pretty clear here. Uh, and that's partially because I'm seeing Guinness actually already. Wow. Yeah, look at that. We've got uh, madness and Guinness. Uh, I got uh, shit to do. Uh, yeah. Tarox leaving. Peace out. Okay, so that's going to be GG's right there, which is perfectly fine. You know, uh, we already have a winner for this. And, Easy uh, up making it happen. Yeah. That was really well played all around. I liked everything I saw with where they were positioning the bot, where they were putting themselves, <laughs> I mean, how they were recovering <laughs> the, the first objective as well. You see madness? Yeah, he steps on the mine. You know, actually, I have not tested this. Does a mine cost, cause the same amount of damage if you step off of it versus if you just look down and shoot it and blow it up? Oh, hmm. That's... I am now curious. I need to go do yeah. some tests. Hmm. Yeah. We'll have to do that tonight. Actually, yeah, there are quite a few things I want to test in this game, so... Let's Alright, so shall we go find the next game, or is there, are there any Honestly, more matches? the obvious next right. game to watch is going to be PCL versus Blight. So we'll just go ahead and... that's a no-brainer to me. But yeah, guys, I would urge you, if you haven't seen that interview with uh, John Carmack taken at E3 yet... Um, one of my favorite quotes... Uh, one of the things I love about uh, John Carmack is that you can have the crappiest guy interviewing him and still get a really good interview out of it. Yeah, well, it's because he just sits down and speaks his mind. He's freaking awesome Yeah, he that does. Way. And I can always imagine Todd Holland said in the background just going, God damn it, who put, who put John on the mic again? Because <laughs> um, he kind of rips into AMD a bit during, during that interview. Which, quite frankly, AMD... It's justified. I mean, everything I, I, I've ever heard John say is totally they... justified, but... AMD's got a little bit too big for their britches. I mean, not like ATI was phenomenal beforehand, but... AMD improved the situation, just not enough. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe I had too high expectations or something. Mm -hmm. maybe, but uh, maybe my favorite it. quote is when the interviewer, and they did the kind of annoying thing when the interviewer's behind the camera and you can barely hear him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, did they bother to, like, at least put subtitles? captions no. up? No. No. Um, but you could still kind of hear him, and he was kind of doing like basic questions like, what do you think is the most fun part of Rage? And John immediately goes, I I got it to run it at 60 hertz. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. He achieved 60 frames a second. That is awesome. Seriously, <laughs> and he just though, goes because... about that. And he goes to just imagine the interviewer going, uh... <laughs> yeah. I love John Carmack so But much. no, but like that is actually such a big fucking deal. Oh, and God. John was mostly talking about how uh, he's okay with the way games are looking these days, and he would be more than happy if we just spent time making games look like that and just run better, um, so that the artists feel free to do more things, more you know, and people feel free to do more uh, ambitious things with the games, where they aren't spending so much time on assets and getting the engine done. Uh, well, okay, I, I, I have I have a problem with that. Mm. Which is, and I'm I'm a little bit bitter, so I'll try not to be try not to sound too okay. bitter. Okay. But we're making games on fucking thirteen year old hardware. Well, yeah, and he, he talked about that. Why? Go, go Why? I mean, it, it. I guess I'm just bothered that the like the the bar is so low. Right. And it seems well, like bitching about how. Uh, Oh. How the games still look decent on the PC, but because you're porting it back from the Xbox, you have all this overhead, so it doesn't run as well as it should. Right. You know, yeah. It looks like crap, and it still runs like crap, even though you got great hardware. Exactly. Yeah. 
So, you know, John is never very diplomatic when it comes to these things. He's no, he's a straight shooter, man. That's why I fucking like yeah. him. That's why I love him, yeah. But his overall tone was like, okay, we've, we've reached a place with, you know, graphical fidelity where we yeah. can kind of see, okay, done. Let's move on to something more interesting. We're not done, but I think maybe he's already thinking okay, next this gen. Might be better which for you then um like i think he's, next he's thinking next gen a, equals perfectly fine fidelity like we've we've gotten so refined on this one that I, it's, I it's pretty much it yeah it's, be, it's pretty uh, much a given as uh diminishing returns like you can put yes yes you know so yes. much work into it and it's only going to look you know that much better that that i agree yeah exactly and especially when you bottleneck behind, but i i think maybe yeah as soon as we get new hardware you know that like the the understanding of how to increase the fidelity is there, and it's mm -hmm. pretty much just bottlenecked by the stupidity of having 13-year-old fucking hardware. <laughs> no well, offense. Well, John say that um, at the beginning of Rage development is like, okay, well, this generation of consoles is on par with you know mid-high computers, and that's not the case anymore. But he was still kind of hampered down by that. Well, you, you know, like, honestly, next-gen console, you better fucking have a solid-state disc. If you don't, I'm going to punch someone in the... I mean, I'm going to just find Bill Gates and punch him in the nuts. Because, look, just think about this. One, one of the problems that people are, you know, I guess, quote-unquote, having with, uh, say, a game like Brink, or, and they're, they're going to have with Rage, too, is essentially texture pop. Um, but since it's mega texture or texture virtualization, it's a lot more noticeable. It's not just, you know, mm -hmm. uh, like items popping. Now, quite frankly, say if you go watch, uh, say, Crisis, you have the same thing, but it's just done in a different way. You have item pop. You have basically view pop, which I think is actually more annoying than just textures becoming more crisp. However, I have seen on the Xbox, if you don't have it loaded to the hard drive, it's significant. But come on, you're pulling it from optical media. What the fuck do you expect? Yeah. You know? And, and, it and gets, it, it's, 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 it's not a failing, it, okay, it's not a failing of, say, a company like Splash Damage realizing how more beautiful they can make a game by utilizing something like textual virtualization and, and basically, you know, just stomaching the fact that there's texture pop. Me, watching these streams, you will almost never see. And, and like, the, the texture pop lasts, um... Oh, I mean, it's, it is, yeah, it, if it ever happens, it's so quick. And, um, again, that's just because I'm not running on 13-year-old hardware. I'm running on maybe 2-year-old <laughs> hardware. Uh, yeah. and, but I don't even have solid-state disk. So if, if next-gen consoles have solid-state disk, which will have, in, you know, have pretty incredible access times, um, because we don't have to wait for a fucking mechanical arm and a spinning disk to read mm -hmm. data, um, you know, if you've got that in place, then... Uh, it's, it's, you know, it'll be good times. Um, and the games like Rage and Brink that are basically a step ahead because they are embracing things like texture virtualization. And everybody's going to be doing that very soon. I can it, yeah. assure you of that. Yeah, and actually it's most, like most games, came out, most games yeah, already are Doom doing 3. a little bit. Yeah, already. and like Doom 3 was one of the first games to have, you know, like normal maps and everything on, exactly. on the textures. And that's what everyone does now. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Um, I, I, again, I, I can see, I, I guess... I'm at a point now where I'm very excited for next-gen stuff, and I'm pissed off that even though both Sony and Microsoft have, like, plans for their next-gen consoles, they're basically holding off. They are trying to milk the cash cow for as long mm -hmm. as they fucking can, and that's what I'm annoyed with. Like, I, I, I don't mind them, like, you know, yeah, make your money, you know, fine, consoles should have a, you know, solid shelf life. That's okay. Did you see the, uh, but the it NBC should, It should not be a with, fucking uh, decade. Kotick. Huh? Did you see the interview with uh, Bobby Kotick? I have not seen anything. I, was, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm basically... I, I'm, I need to get through this week of work before I watch anything E3 okay. or MLG related. The one thing I will say is that I thought it was really funny um, that the CEO of the company that publishes World of Warcraft said that uh, PC is a minimal audience. God, you know, I forgot that... Wait, does Activision really publish that? Well, Activision owns Blizzard, so, you know. Okay, I, I guess I just forgot that. Even like, if it's not in-name. How, 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 how in the, the world How in the world did Activision... Blizzard how, how at does, some point. Yeah, okay. how, how does Blizzard get away with taking a decade to build a game? We're going live. 
we'll, we'll pick up where we left off at some it point. It took seven years, to be fair. Yeah. Oh, I know, but yeah. I. But yeah. Okay, we we are live in. What? <laughs> what? We're here on terminal. In terminal, yeah. I, I was so a little bit curious. We had a, we had a turret like going up. It seems like very slow going here. Finally, stuff is actually breaking off. We're doing uh, maybe a two-three push. And this is PCL versus. This, uh, okay, wait, look, uh, is this timing? Are are they sorting out timing? What? Are, okay, now uh, the third guy he didn't get his marching orders quite right. Here they go. Okay. Wow. PCL Chasm and Pharaohs are both going uh, the dangerous route, but they're going to be an enema flood at this point. Wow, how effective was that? Chasm's going to be taking down everybody. Pharaohs going along the other side. Wow. PCL is now open. Uh, do we have we have one operative and with a play like that that's all they're gonna need they're in they that, own that this is room. friggin ridiculous did you see that um uh, I, I, uh, I I did not see yeah. Pharaohs and I seem to start watching him I think okay here's what they did um the resistance spawn with those turrets uh-huh they just you know ran by them as they're firing at them went down the chute so that they were essentially going along the same path that resistance does when they spawn as a first wave tactic, that huh. is freaking genius. Interesting. Because everyone's going to be in the room, and they're going to be pushing up. And this is 6v6. Having two guys in the back there, totally worth it. Four from the front, two mm -hmm. from the back. Mm -hmm. And then they, they broke up and went uh, either side when they got in there. And that was it. That's all it took. All right, looks like we got a, a pair of security about to coming down. We got Pharaohs indeed uh, hitting a mine, though, I think. No, actually, no, it was not. Um, yeah, he is in the conveyor belt area, upper conveyors, at the bend. And of course, his position's been called out, so he's under a lot of fire, but he's surviving pretty well. Might even be able to take, not quite able to take down. Let's see, who was that? Uh, was that Gustavo something or other? I guess it's the Fuhrer, <laughs> Fuhrer team. I like that. So they have some very, uh, very typical names here. Stereotypical, I would even say. I'm kind of pissed that I can't tell who is who. Because I know these guys, and they got their crazy Nazi dinosaur names. Gotcha. Yes. Yes. So we can get a good angle in this room. It's always very difficult. I'm trying to figure out like what the best angle is. And it seems yeah. like, and if you go up, you're watching a conveyor belt, and it covers half the action. So I got a hand of a blight though, um, for being good, good so recovery. swept out that first run. Yeah. They've got a they've got a hold back on this. They've they've they do reasserted themselves here. Yep. Now, I can already tell you that the blue pants and the green hair, that's Zoid. Of course, he's also yeah. Zoidosaurus, so that makes it a little bit easier, but... Is that uh, Oberfuhrer? <laughs> Oberfuhrer yeah. Rex? I like that. <laughs> Alright, so we got Chasm and Pharaohs again pressing their... Actually, ooh, look at that. They're going to switch up the route. I'm going to follow them. Ooh. Very nice. Oh, yeah, they're going to they're gonna do what you said before. If they know that everybody's alive, it's perfectly valid. If one or two of them are down, mm -hmm. then you're going to be taken out from the rear, just as you're trying to take out from the rear. It's like yep, and here they come. Be... Pharaoh's coming and getting uh, already one and two. And Kath's doing likewise. Here we go. Wow, fantastic maneuver. Here comes Zoid. What can he save? He gets a revive in, but Pharaoh's puts him down. We got the revive happening. No, there's the nade to stop the revive, and down goes. There's this Blaze. Wow. Uh, that's Blazin, okay. Yeah. So Blazin survives to keep the hack from happening. Although here comes NL. Not on a mine. Hacking Good away. And Good we've got plan. Suff from the back. Able to uh, keep things locked. And nice nice awareness by NL. Although, oh, he didn't dodge the second nade. He's down. How could they never get on the plant? You gotta love the plant. The plant? Oh, yeah, I know. Well, plant is nice. Also nice is trash can. Yep. Yeah. Plan, plan, plan trash can are happy. Safer from the window, and from nades. Hmm. The only, the only weak point about plant is that you're open from that doorway. But if your team is there and they should be, um, yes, yes, that doorway. Yes. So. But a little bit more progress. Re retake. On the hack. Yeah. Retake by blight. But uh, or should we say fear? And I'm gonna see what the next setup is. Pharaohs. This is such a great sort of pairing. Uh, between Pharaoh and Chasm. is kind of pushing out forward here. He's able to take down NL, though, and as the one operative, that is going to be kind of calling this entire push. Yeah, it, it might might delay it 
a few seconds for him to respawn, but maybe, maybe not, because what uh, Pharaohs is going to try to do, he's just rushing in here, trying to take down Zoidberg, gets him down, so that's actually pretty significant. Uh, combat buff on Pharaoh, so he's back to full health, going in, able to take down Blaze as well, and we see Madness pick up a kill, and there's Chasm. That is the full team, I believe. So we should see a hack happening in just a few seconds. In fact, it is happening right now. Enel is on the objective. Just kneel down, get that full bar. It's no problem. Trying to defend himself. Pharaoh is able to defend him, in fact. And uh, we're going to see probably return to the hacking in just a few seconds. That is, uh, I think, all taken down. It was an interesting maneuver there. That might be a bit of a mistake. PCL had Chasm up as their medic, but they tapped out while they still had somewhat control of the room. They, so. they got the gib, though. They got the gib on the yeah. operative, so that's kind of the key thing. And now they're taking, clearing up the medics. Guinness staying alive far longer than he really should have. Had to wait for yeah, some reloads. That tap out was a bit of a mistake, a bit of a miscommunicate there. Yeah. So, mine is back up uh, on the objective, and this is actually... Uh, one of my but favorite, this objective, my favorite it is most mostly there. I mean, it's going to take one more good yes. push to make this thing happen. Yes. So I'm going to more off the out. second part of the map. And, and look, you know, look at the coordination here between PCL buffing, getting everything set. Uh, I think what we need to see is maybe start seeing some blight and PCL scrims just over and over to test stuff. Because I'm I'm liking the back and forth that we're seeing. The only thing I don't like about six v six right now mm -hmm. is that you're always going to have two medic, two ng, two soldier. Always, both teams, forever. That's the only unless thing I don't like a, about unless that Unless there's a hack, out. yeah. Right. I think it's time for them and to then switch you give up the either a soldier or, or an NG. Most of the time, an NG. I mean, I, I just don't like that aspect of it. Yeah, it looks like this time though, Zoidberg is able to take down um, one, and his teammate helps to clean up. So I think right now you can say that uh, PCL has been held off for this push. Yeah, but Guinness is still in the cargo room. Yeah, I know. I'm watching him uh, clean up a little bit. He's going to die. Oh, he's taken down from oh, behind. Oh, no, almost not dead. Quite. But he's, yeah, he's but trying he's to regroup with his team. Wait. Yeah. Get some health buffing. Of course, yeah, as an engineer, he just needs to spend his pips on uh, weapon buffs. Right. And of course, having two NGs taking their sweet time Helps. with this. And where is the defensive setup? We've got, uh, we've got Blaze actually setting up um, just as just as a recon, really. I mean, he's just looking that direction, not really wanting to uh, antagonize Ooh. there, just wanting to communicate. Can I just say, is this the, is Madness a heavy? I, I can't really tell. He's at least a medium, but he's got like huge. He's got like huge clothes on. I guess he's a medium. Yeah, he's a medium. He's big boned. Wow, Sink going in for the stabs. Uh, ballsy dude. But again, <laughs> pushing out a little bit. Uh, that is gonna be a five, six man respawn for PCL. So this should be a pretty good push. Yep. Where are we gonna see it happen? We've got one breaking off. It's gonna be Pharaohs. Is he gonna be going Ooh, on? Ooh, uh, is not in position here for this. This is Ooh. pretty important that Pharaohs is here. Pharaohs is coming up top. Uh, there's a mine there. Yeah, I see it. They nade. Nades are going to miss the mine. Derp. What are we going to do about that, that mine bus? <laughs> well, they, they obviously can't see it, otherwise they've been shooting it by now. Yeah. So... This is going to be interesting. You can go elsewhere. I just want to see what these guys are going to do about this mine up. Not a lot. They're just going to be harassing from up here? Really? Maybe. Let, let's, let's push. Oh, actually, hang on. There they go. There's the mine. Um, attempt right. on... Attempt on the revive, the there it is, syringe deployed. Go first, that was really important. He's still gonna mm -hmm. get gibbed out, but we still have a medic here. Oh, mm. and Zoid getting the clutch kill. Yeah, NL though, from conveyors, gets pretty much uh, naded in the face, never mind. <laughs> here comes Vero, respawn. Yeah, this is disjointed though. Damn, this is so a little bit careless. Is. Okay, they yeah. back off. Smart move. Careful for that. Give yourself some more so actually we're right. seeing a little bit of a, a change in the setup here they're pushing three cp side mm -hmm. that is a bit different i guess they're uh, they're switching up from the conveyor access i'm seeing the uh, I, I need to change the obituary list 
color so that when we're flashbang, I can't, I can at least tell who's dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good point. We actually have a TK there. Ooh, a little, a little bit of a TK wow. happening. Um, that's not going to be helping the Fuhrer side. Well, they probably got an re instant revive off of that. I can't imagine their medics being low on We've pit. still got stuff on the compare tunnel, but he's going to be backing off to regroup with the respawn. Yeah. As is Madness. I mean, this is a lot of time that's being spent here. The objective is so close to being hacked. But yeah. this could be allowing a lot of responsive time when this side's flip. But again, you know, five seconds added to the defensive respawn, I think, mm -hmm. will be, it makes will be pretty difference. sweet. And L's going for the command post capture. Letting everyone else die. And actually, it is PCL that's dying. Guinness and Madness down, as is Suff. So, NL moving in right now. He's, uh... He, he might just yeah. be trying to suicide before... Before the, before uh, the respawn. respawn. Yeah. Yeah. Let's actually get over to them and, and watch how that works out. Yep, there they are. I'm gonna watch Suff for this push. See what he can put together. It looks like they're going potentially CP. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Taking a sweet time about it. Yeah, but, you know, it, it makes perfect sense because you can see the uh, other guys are still up to top buff buffing and whatnot. So. Uh oh, though. Oh, Suff oh, turns geez. his back and it's uh, Blazin comes out with guns blazing and puts him down. Revival getting him back up, but uh, pretty significant to maybe throw off the timing. Self revive at that. I like self revive myself. I yeah, think it's I mean, learn, learn to give, noob. Uh, that's all I got to say. Learn to give. Yep, those medics. Alright, and I like this. This is a slow push. He's here with the soldier. This is just going to be a harassment side. But it should be a fairly effective harassment side. Zoid is going to be taking cover back over to the window. Madness yeah, flanking able to take down one who focused on the belts. Very nice. Although, oh, he's taking fire. I think that is that Zoid still up there? For Kev, though. Kev takes him down just like the Oh, Raptor. wow. What a huge clear. Madness getting several Whoops. kills. And uh, who was up top, though, that got that final kill? Actually, Madness self killed. You see that? It was a nade to his head. His own nade or a TK. It was, it was his own nade. What the hell? Did he just, I don't know, get knocked down and forget Nades to throw the thing? It's complete breakfast, yeah. All right, all right. All right, let's hop out to third person and take a look at the, the kind of the overview of the objectives. And um, is going to be the last one on, on deck. Yeah, Blight is not quite set up here. They're getting there, but... And once again, guys, this is the Blight that has taken down Area 51. Mm -hmm. Now, they've taken down just about everyone. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of like... I would say... Looking for sponsor, Hubris, Blight. Maybe. If I, if I had to rank them. I don't know how accurate, accurate that is, but it feels about right. Um, See, Hubris? Ah. I've, been, I've been not so happy with Hubris so far, to be perfectly honest. Why? They, they get into a rut, and they, they stay in that rut. Oh. When it comes down to a map. Yeah. We've got a three-man push coming in through Belt's CP side, and we've got... And first one in the room, clearing it out. Do they see that mine? I'm not sure, but uh, NL's there, so we should. Face. Oh, it takes out two. Oh, dude, yeah. you're the operative. You're supposed to see this shit. Yep. Ah. Yep. That's a bit of a mistake. No revive for you. Suff almost got there. Ooh, actually, we got a oh, nade coming in from Pharaohs. Back up. Although, but uh oh, nice melee. Great melee by uh. Zoidberg. And what a what a great decision. You see that? Yep. He didn't bother trying to film full of lead. He knocked him in the face with his gun and stomped because on his crotch. Lazarus grenade. Uh, you're not at full health. Nowhere near it. Yeah. So really, really smart. You know, awareness. I. Just great, great move there. Great move. We're gonna watch Guinness this time around. See how, see what he can do. Wow. That grenade just took down everyone, but that'll clear the room. Chasm is back up though. He's a med. He's got the self revive. He's gonna be able to beat. <laughs> Get. Kev back down. Stay down. Wow. He really had to work for that. <laughs> and that flies come in and uh, just finish everyone off. Nicely done. Yeah. So five minutes, 13 seconds left on the clock. I mean, this thing is so close to being done. I would hate this to become another progress match, but it looks like it might. Indeed.
Although, I think Blight has their shit together when, when we oh, see things totally. flip, so... I don't know, we, we might get to the safe cracking. Which is a bit better than what I started out with uh, the other night. I think I said... Crate... An L is spearheading here. This is interesting. Okay, there we go. He finally had a change up. Madness moving on forward as a soldier. We have Molotovs coming in, though. We needed to see a flash from Madness, however. Right yeah. now, nobody. I mean, everything is, everything is CP here. Okay, Seth, and no more grenades for you. Yeah, really, yeah. <laughs> and now, usually, really seems to be the last guy up. He, of course, is the operative, so I understand his hesitation to basically run in and get shot first. So, you know, I like that, you know, they're at least Sink. having him pulling back, but... Timing sink. Yeah, it was actually Seth that took down NL. <laughs> yeah. Oops. But you really need to, uh, you know, be part of that fight, I think. What is the team damage multiplier, do you know? Is it like 0.5 or... I I have not tested again. There are all kinds of things. Um, Learn Brink is something that we own as a domain, and Matt and I have this grand scheme of actually throwing up a bunch of tutorials. And, and as soon as we learn it'll, it, it'll go live. Yeah, yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Um, yeah, I mean, how cool is that? I've been playing the game for a month, and I still feel like there's so much stuff to learn. Oh yeah. And and it's like people know the broad strokes. Okay, you know this class does that. This ability does that. Although it's. It, According to the forums, there are still a lot of things that people don't quite get. So, we'll see. Yeah. Multiple enemies spotted. Wow. Most of Blight still holding down the main room here. Three minutes, 22 seconds left. That last grenade is not going to be doing anybody any good. We have Guinness trying to come up top and harass. Let me see if I can get over there. Damn, that rushes. Indeed. Madness, not even able to get into the room. Good lord. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. And Sink is going to be able to take down a few. We do have a frag from Suff and Pharaohs, but they're not going to be able to hold down the room at all. This is going to be a full respawn. It's going to be a little bit staggered, though. Madness is going to be the first one in. And again, they're, they're pushing CP side. Yeah. I, it's time to vary it up, man. What happened to that uh, nice little maneuverage we saw earlier? Seems yeah. like it's all been washed up. Zoidberg decides to drop down, head across the map, because I guess they got the call, that's where everyone is. So he's now providing support and great teamwork there. I really haven't seen uh, PCL get anywhere near the objective in quite some time, and they, they just keep pushing CP side. Yeah, I, that bothers me a little bit. It does. Because all they need to do is get NL just, you know, one foot in the door. One, one clear. One, yeah. yeah. One decent clear, and it's done. And, you know, get him to sit on the plants. I've never seen any of these top guys sit on the plant. They need to sit on the plant. <laughs> you and your plants. No joke. Yeah. It's the best place. Best place. Guinness is going to be taken down. Yeah. Good He's use of the belts, though, to try to, you know, stay alive for as long as you can with the cover. Mm -hmm. But not enough. Ferris. And another CP push. Mm, partial. Partial, yeah. That, does that really help things, or is it just going to slow them down? I like that they're not willing to push until everybody's in position, but everyone's in the same position. And Sink, again, pushing out, getting the one frag, at the very least doing a bit of recon. And he's oh, the one he's who stays alive. <laughs> yeah, he's the one who stays alive most of the time, long enough. Did you see that? Uh, sold that. Yeah. Uh, oh! Nice, nice, Molotov. Indeed. Oh man, this might be it. One minute left to go, and NL is hacking. And I think we're gonna see this finally completed. Let's see where I spot. I pop I out. Down. It's in the room. He just needs to hold it oh, long enough shit, to get the Oh shit, he's down. Tap out. Yeah. NL's dead. Damn. That's, okay. So that's like gotta be like 95%. Yeah. But really good holds by Blight here. No, oh, yeah. I mean, it, it was looking looking pretty solid, like to almost be maybe a 10 minute time uh, for this first objective, but they extended it to a full extra 10. So again, plus five, man, plus five. Cats is actually pushing from the stairwell, and he's in, and nobody expects it because they haven't pushed the stairwell for 10 freaking minutes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, uh, a little late though, L t tiny bit late. Yeah, a little bit. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. Oh. 
Ah. Uh, our primary weapons are CP side and CP well side done, and CP the side. Data is white <laughs> and useless to them. All right, yes. now let's see what Blight can do on the attack. We have a full hold for Blight. Let's see what they can do on the flip side of things. Are they gonna do the uh, the rear side initial push? I really like that maneuver. That was that was quite nice. Yeah, yeah, very very interesting tactic developing. You know, that kind of makes me wonder. Again, as things kind of um, get a bit more worked out in terms of strategies. Terminal really could become quite the uh, speedy objective. It, because if you've got that path to cover, you've got the conveyors well, to cover, you've got CP side to cover, you've got uh, staircase, uh, you know, the, op the opposite. Have to cover that path if it's 5v5. Come again, I'm like, sorry. Is, it, is anybody going to make that maneuver when it's 5v5? Maybe. Like that Maybe. Really? Mm. Why not? We'll see. I, I, yeah. I, why, why does one man change it? Just because you don't really want to make that push with one guy, and in 5v5, can you really spend two? Yeah. Oh, dude, you a fucking chump from Hubris? Yeah. Yeah, send him back there. Absolutely, he'll kill four people. Okay, cool. I mean, it's yeah. like, you know, like, yeah, take take your best shooter, make, make, make him a medic so, so he can he can stim up. You yeah, know. if you're going to one guy there, make sure he's able to get the window. And, like that, and you yeah, want to make that your, your go-to exactly, place. Exactly, you know, like there, there's so many different you know opportunities there. Not to mention just the intel that you gather yeah. because the focus is going to be They're all in forward. The room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God papers is floating about an inch off the ground. Those papers just got even creepier. Which paper? The shiny paper? Yeah. One closest to the stair. Anyway. Okay, I'm I'm in the room. I'll go look at it. That's still Matt and I were going on about how shiny that paper is. Yeah, so you're calling them God papers? I, yes. I didn't quite. Okay, that that was what I needed an explanation on. Yes, yes. This this does. Anyway, sorry. Sit a little bit high. These, these maps are just so visually interesting. I can't help but just wander around and be a little ADD kid. <laughs> a little bit. All right. I'm gonna check out CP side. We've got uh, Zoid and Sync pushing it. Pharaohs is going to be pushing on forward here a bit. Whoa. Nice. Who was the team kill? Wow. A ni nice flashbang. Jeez. That's actually pretty significant. And wow, look at this. Uh, soldier in the works. Can Sink get away? No, he cannot. Uh, so Chasm and NL will hold down. Here comes Eric. Yeah. And NL but... will take him down. Mandis is still oh, on board here. That was and an offensive mind, sir. Yeah. Very wow, nice. Nades. Of a waste. So that first push was bloody on all sides, and it's not really going to give uh, PCL much indication of where they're going to be coming through for the next one. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah, I'm going to go flying around the chasm now. And mm. whoa, Ferris is already down. Oh. Okay. Actually, the fact that that Ferris is down though, pretty significant, but even more significant, I think that was Zoid just died. Yeah. The fact that Madness is having to deal with fire from two fronts in this room means he needs to back off. Really a bit of a push forward, and that could open up quite a lot of options for Blight. Uh, two of them are going to be down. We still Seriously? have one up top. How, how did Blazin and survive that long? <laughs> I have no idea. That was, that was pretty awesome. And can I just say how I love how the um, ragdoll kicks in when whenever someone respawns? So you have oh, these yeah. moments where the body's been down, it's an instant animation, and all of a sudden it just sort of flops over. Well, yeah, it's, it's gas escaping, you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, like the same South Park, you're not really dead until you shoot yourself. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, if the whole name is not <laughs> popping in until significantly after the flash wears off, if that's intentional. It, it is intentional. Actually, <laughs> every, everything um, on the HUD goes white. Like okay. you, you don't even see your radar, so right. Yeah, it's it's an intentional thing. Not, I kind of so, like it. Probably why. By the way, oh, that's actually gonna be doing. Yeah, some wind, that's a wind turret good. right there. Actually, I haven't seen a turret put there before. I'm. Yeah, no, I I, I put mine there. Oh, oh, well. yeah. I never see you play as NG. I yeah, I I love medic so goddamn much. That's all it is. Yeah, I know you do. And I'm good All at right. it. Alright, so. still able to hold down the room. We have yet to see a box planted. Yeah, you, you have to really call that out because at this point, we already at least had the box down and 
within another three or four minutes, I think we saw a pretty immense hack uh, for the other side. So, you know, we might have to play this thing by progress, and I think it was, what, 80%? I don't think we, should, we never quite yeah. asked it. Sync just got TSA'd by Pharaohs. Oops. And yeah, this is kind of weird because uh, light has been staggered for a very long time now. They really yeah. haven't had a solid push in that any That being said, though, you see that? Uh, Erotic just picked up a pair, and it's not dead yep. yet. And we've got the moving inside. Oh, we have finally gets pulled down. Plant. And he's going to get on the plant. Get on the plant, dude. Get, do it. I will blow you up with your own sticky grenade. Get on the plant. <laughs> okay, he's actually breaking off in order to get some damage done. But now would be a good time to go back. I thought maybe a Caltrop toss? Here comes, stuff. here comes Chasm, and here comes Guinness to take him down. That is one dead operative. Now, but here's, here's a kind of a key thing, though. Medics are going to have to use a lot of syringes to get everyone up. Yeah. They're going to be low on pips. And there are, there are Caltrops uh, kind of uh, bisecting the room. So... They're going to expire in just a few... Oh, right there, actually. Sad that I know that timing. <sighs> I, I don't like being an operative. I'm a, I'm a terrible operative. But, like, as an operative, like, I would do all this stuff, and I'd get, like, you know, 2 XP. Like, I, I would feel useful. You know, I, I wouldn't... Well, you get a lot of XP for doing things like hacking turrets and all that. But that's... That's stupid. Like, and I think you get as much XP for disguising as you do for getting a revive. Yes, yes you do. But then how useful are disguises? Oh, we got a hack going on. I don't I mean, know. I, this has never really been useful in comp play, to be honest. Well, and even so in it, hubbing, I, I don't see how they're useful. I've used it to effect, huh. because people are stupid. Okay, well yeah, I guess I don't play on necessarily stupid servers. Oh, well... Fuck you too. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I play on servers where I tend to know people. So, oh, that being said, yeah. good lord, uh, Zoid picking up at least one. We got a pair. Sinna picking up a pair. So, jeez, it is nap time in the main room because everybody is dead. Here comes the revives from Kev. Come on, Securita, get in here. Though. There, there we, we go. go. We have Cinna up, we have Eric actually putting down a mine on, uh, on the resistance spawn point, I like this, and we yeah. have the hack back up, that, that one mine Eric's is defending, do yes, so yes, it, it, it'll at least knock down the health, here comes PCL Manus from the side, but there's coverage for, uh, by Kev, and Cinna also covering the operative straight up, and we're gonna see this thing done, GG indeed, there it is. Yep. And we already have disconnects, wow, Yeah. we're not gonna play it out, no. but there is a uh, GG. Yep. On progress. And that was about a 14 minutes there, so about a six minute time. Yeah. Blight is going to the finals. Indeed they are. Way to go, Blight. All right. So uh, finals will be broadcasted tomorrow night. So that'll do it, guys. We're going to see Fuhrer versus Bonk in the final tomorrow Fury. night, starting at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, right here on Brink TV. And I'm going to do a very quick sign-off. Jahar, any final words? Oh, I'm happy to see these guys getting this far. It has been a uh, really remarkable night, actually, because no more double full holds. We Th haven't this seen is true. a single double hold tonight. I'm so very happy about that. Yeah, yeah that is quite nice, actually. So, guys, check us out on YouTube. We are youtube.com slash videos. And for those that uh, have not caught up on our stuff, um, I did something very special. Uh, yeah, I want to first call out and just say thank you, TWL. No server crashes. That was awesome. Yep. Uh, much smoother night, but uh, with YouTube what I've been doing is I take You can always watch the the live stream version on our website if you go to thebrink.tv slash videos um, but if you Head over to our YouTube channel, which is just youtube.com slash brink videos then uh, I basically do high quality versions of everything that we cover and I cut out all the downtime and all that fun stuff uh, so that basically it's just match after match. Uh, I might keep in a little bit of discussion or analysis in between rounds. But other than that, it's just straight Brink coming at you. Any other things? Yeah, follow us on Twitter. We are twitter.com slash thebrinktv. On Facebook, we are slash brinktv. And on Steam, we have a community. And you might imagine that it's named 
Brink TV. So, Jahar? I gotta hand it to, uh, to Blight. Nazi dinosaurs from Space Hill is one of the cleverest things I've seen in a while. So, guys, good luck tomorrow night. We're gonna have the finals. We're gonna have more Brink here on Brink TV and also Tasty Spleen TV will be uh, getting a bit of a revive itself very, very shortly. Nice. All good right. night, folks. Take care.